<clears throat> hey everyone, and welcome to another quick mini video. I'm doing many videos to try and post more videos more quickly onto the channel. Um, and I thought I'd show the most complete iteration until I get the rest of the parts in of Gaila server. This is going to be the media streaming server. Uh, this is the Roswell case that I did the unboxing of earlier on about, it was either one or two videos ago. It's currently using a Dell motherboard. has a X, uh, what's it called? PCIe X16 slot 2.0 and X1 and two PCI slots. This is in a PCI X slot, a PCI X card, dual gigabit Intel. As you can see, it barely fits in there. If it would have touched this, I wouldn't even use it. it has total eight gigs. Uh, DDR2 600, no six seven seven megahertz memory. Two eighty millimeter pans up front. Has a mesh right here. This is not permanent. I have a Core 2 quad coming in for it. Three gigahertz, twelve meg cache on it. And a proper cooler for a 2U from Cooler Master. It has a Silicon Power SSD 60 gigabyte. As I said, this might be the media server, but it connects using SMB shares to the FreeNAS system, which allows me to map them to a drive letter, therefore allowing Plex to read off the NAS. I have this uh, team together using my HP gigabit switch has a DVD burner so I can burn our home movies and a Lenovo 250 watt power supply it's more than enough power for this whole setup uh, I don't know if it'll have enough power for the Intel uh, Core T Quad but I will do my best to test it out and let you know how the results turned out I have actually decided to install Windows 10 uh, Pro on it because Windows 7 only has, I think, three years of life left in it. And I can get my hands on the Windows 10 keys a lot cheaper than I can on Windows 7. So that way I could save my Windows 7 Ultimate key for a different computer. This board has four SATA 2 ports. Yes, I know it will not allow me to take full advantage of the SSD, but the SSD lets it run quieter and will allow it to boot a lot faster. My mom's computer, which I you've all seen in a previous video, also boots off a silicon power SSD, and it boots up in ten, less than 10 seconds. I will be getting a dual port PCI X1 card here for Intel. This way I can get rid of this. I trust this. It's Intel. It works perfect. But I want to save this in case it's ever needed as a backup. Since this is a Dell board, it does not have a backplane. So I have to be careful whenever I hook anything up to this little itty bitty port right here because it's not the best spot. Um, 24 pin, 4 slot, max memory capacity, 8 gigs. I hope you all enjoy this video and I hope you all have a good day. See you all later.